I thought my homeland would receive me with open arms, but my only welcome was fire and arrows. Nothing in my kingdom is the way it was. Not even me. No more suffering. I can stop this! Stay back! Go. Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with. Face him first, mate, Ricky, you're at your service. <laughs> and welcome to the third of the Prince of Persia Sands of Time trilogy. The two, thr the, 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 the two thrones. <laughs> what was I. Yeah. Sometimes I gotta wonder if my tongue is half sedated at like any moment or so. And you uh, wonder yeah. why I wonder if I may see you half the time. <laughs> but yeah, this is...
<laughs> this is technically speaking, yeah, this is tech the last in the trilogy. Though there is also the Forgotten Sand, which takes place in the same timeline. Uh, though that is somewhere between the Sands of Time and Warrior Within, which we just finished earlier today. But yeah, we'll, we'll get to that one in order, which means after this game and after the 2008 quote-unquote reboot, or single game. But yeah, let's get started on normal difficulty. And yeah, uh, parts of this game with a, a widescreen fix are in, well, we all make mistakes. three, four by three. So I'll Some just put these up. Some are large, but his mistake, born of innocence, fueled by pride, was the greatest and most terrible of them all. Some believed when the prince journeyed to the island of time to escape death, that he returned alone. The amulet destroyed. The Dahaka appeased. The Empress dead. The prince was free at last. But this is not how it happened. The truth is that he chose to save me from my destiny. In doing so, he set me free. And doomed us all. Cleaning glasses. Prince. Of all the possible futures, this one held the most promise that something has changed. Do not worry, Kailina. No harm will come to you in Babylon. I promise. Look, we are nearly home. Hello, Marco, and yes, and now I can turn those back on because the, this game actually works in, in 60x3. The prince 60 found number. himself in a city quite different from the one he left behind. The normally busy wharves were now decimated. Blood spattered awnings and splintered door frames were all that waited to greet him. And the people, merchants, beggars, fishermen, were nowhere to be found. Others had taken their place. Yeah, we're back at Babylon, the prince's home, and it's gone quite the shit because it seems like wherever the prince goes, things just go to hell. And yeah, we're back to L Yuri Lowenthal as the voice actor for the prince. The prince made his way along the torn and blasted district, haunted by visions from his past. The dark side tavern where he'd spent many late nights was now reduced to cinders. Babylon's proud armada which he would often come to greet, lay cracked and broken. 
pass to the bottom of the Euphrates. And we have a narrator again. But no subtitles this time <laughs> anywhere, because for some reason only Warrior Within had subtitles and only then limited ones. Yeah, we have I, our same tricks as always. I, I have one theory why they didn't, though it's a very bad reason. They got sheep. Everywhere Poor. there are signs of battle. But what of Babylon's guard? Where have they all gone? <laughs> okay. right, let's see. Go they will otherwise have to pay someone to translate the subtitles to multiple languages. Mm. Well, they already have voice actors for every you know, for different languages. Yeah, yeah uh, but uh, <laughs> not every. Uh, let's see, Marco. If you began stream earlier, you could have been raided. Uh, by who then, Marco? Or <laughs> were you streaming? There we go. And in some of the some of the, the instructions, it's talking about left analog sticks, like we're using a controller. <clears throat> Let's see, uh, Marco. I led a whole raid to someone else and was waiting for you, but no. <laughs> Sorry about that, but we do have our somewhat strict starting times. And yeah, we can heat at these again. So and of course, tell me my story from here if you are called away. Uh, let's see. Now, stream my acquaintance. Okay. I will continue my story from here next time. And yeah, some very big sands of time. Uh, simil. Mm, would it be? I don't think similarities would be there. Nope. Let's see. Zoom. Oh, we can zoom this in and out now. Okay. All right. Not sure if that was in earlier games. Then again, we hardly used landscape mode. Uh, but yeah, we already did a stream earlier today, Marco. So yeah, do not overload ourselves. <laughs> when we do two streams in a day, we do it with one. <clears throat> uh, with two, every time two hours. Disaster strikes. I find myself without a proper blade. <laughs> Still. It's better than nothing. He's not wrong. It's a very poorly animated, poorly textured one. And yeah, we have stealth kills now. Oh! Let's see. Can we get the drop on this guy? Probably from the pole there. So, there. There. One. Two. And done. Hello! Three! He dropped something! Damn it! <laughs> Wrong move. Oh well, we get to see this. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, we can skip the cutscenes, which is something Why we could do in Warrior Within. Disaster strikes. I find myself without a proper blade. Still, it's better than nothing. Yeah, I know they dropped the weapons. Okay. So wait for the dagger to flare. And one and two. It is be it is going easy on us for these ones because I'm pretty. I recall being it pretty tricky to pull these off at times. Yeah, uh, this one drops his blade. Let's see. Oop. Yep. There we go. Okay. And now yeah. it actually shows a durability bar for these. Okay. So gotta find a way through the ruins and, well, find Kylina. Oh dear. I saw something about. Morgan mentioned about we could have had 30 people raiding us. 
I think our record is 32. Hmm. Uh, finally a durability bar. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Go. Yeah, we can still to, we can strike from different angles with that. Yeah, if I'd been a bit quicker on the draw earlier. Yep. There we go. We still have our counters, and there he goes. All right, you got the new one, but really. As you were just about to fight your throat then sword? <laughs> well it did give the it did give the the, the tutorial for it as well. <laughs> and it was actually sticking through his chest the whole time, so that was a pretty durable freaking warrior. Just tis about the flesh wounds. <laughs> For Persia. Uh. Let's see, anything around here? No. Okay, let's have a look. Ah, there she is. Kylina. No! No way into the city now. I will have to climb this siege tower and enter from above. It's, do you guys have bleach on it? What? Why do you need it for your eyes, Marco? Yeah, don't put bleach on your eyes. But, uh oh. One, two, three. We still have our combos from previously. Go counter. Oh no, you did what, Marco? Uh. I, I have still not watched it, I plan not to not watch it. I actually forgotten about it until now. Yeah, I've heard plenty about that to just not watch that at all, and I have no interest to have it described either. <laughs> so that is on your... <laughs> sense the others who have passed through this place, intent on bringing harm to my family. That one's on you, Marco. Four weeks I've been at sea, and every day spent dreaming of my return to Babylon. But never, in all my visions of the future, did I suspect a homecoming such as this. War. It is the only answer. But war with who? Why? Hello. <laughs> Bird-headed archer. Can we? Yep. I got to investigate. I. Yep. The no, no. And Babylon was, for, at least for a time, part of Persia. And yeah, press the button too early there. Oh well. And I think you can get a feeling where Assassin's Creed got their thing from, huh? Yeah. I would not be surprised if this is kind of why that whatever the newest trailer that they made for Assassin's Creed, the newest one to become, made people angry. Oh. For I think it was to be set in Middle East, and I think it gave off way too much Prince of Persia vibe, I'm guessing. Now, it originally started as Prince of Persia games, like, you know, the first. The first Assassin's Creed was literally to be a, a Prince of Persia, but from a different perspective. And well, they just decided to focus fully on the Assassin bit, uh, stuff. And Prince got the best welcome home party. Yeah, you could say it is uh, <laughs> lit. Because it lit up the town. <laughs> oh, fire. good God. Is this where I but yeah, the tale next time? I can see it happen. That if they 
This is if the news one is so Prince of Persia like, I think just Phoebe that wait. You basically have well, Prince of Persia so here. That drove him, oh. but duty. I was his responsibility. He had made a promise, a promise that was now broken and undone. As with I all hope. mistakes he had made, the prince meant to fix this. A noble goal to be certain, but a selfish one as well. For he was motivated to ease his own pain. I hope I did not speak too much over her by accident. No. Uh, yeah, these jackasses are just completely fucking around with the populace. I know these streets. Knew them anyway. I must keep pace with Kylina if I'm to find the one responsible for this. Well, so I noticed something. I think they would have put toned down Kali Kalina's physique a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> during the four, um, during the month at sea, they uh, apparently she gave herself a yeah, a makeover. Then again, they probably could have stopped somewhere along the way. Let's see. I, I, I'm not talking about her wardrobe. I'm talking about a. Um. A slightly silly move. So <laughs> then again, they, they did make her rather. Um. A bit, a bit much. <laughs> Ow. I I just I like really like that move. Just break dancing blade smith, blade smithing blades. Ugh. You get what I want. Let, let's see. From, from, okay, what did you find? Yeah, what is it then, Marco? And yeah, we have a new trick with this. Very uh, splinter cell, huh? Yep. I did not keep a good eye on the wall there. They made her a lot less chesty. Yeah, that's what they did, Marco. Okay. Oh, this again. Yeah, uh, yeah. We need we need to be a lot more careful now. Without uh, any sounds at the moment. Okay, I got it. They reduced her uh, bust size, uh, Marco. That's what I'm saying. Along with uh, maybe a bit of hit, they they toned down her beauty, so to say. Yeah, it, it, if you'd seen. Bit... Oh, sorry, go on. Uh, if you'd seen the stream earlier today, Marco. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, she was walking around with the, uh, with the two on full display. Yeah, it, well, she only had that red dress and boots, literally. Let's see, are those two going to come out? Nope. They literally spawn the moment we touch the ground. I guess in this game they wanted to return it to. They wanted to keep somewhat. Uh, actually, yeah, I think that they tried to combine the art style of the first game and second game with this one. Yeah. To reach a compromise. Uh, what best part then, Marco? Or. <laughs> the finale of Warrior Within? Or something else? That reminds me. I should have actually looked if we could have seen, yeah, if we could have watched the uh, the bad ending for War We Within in the extras or something. But yeah, we basically got a recap of that, you know, of it happening there. It basically... Uh. Uh, yeah, we, we would fail to save Kylina. And the hacker would apparently take the medallion instead of the prince. 
for whatever reason. I don't, I don't think we got any explanation as to what that damn thing, well, where that damn thing came from. It, yeah. Well, didn't that man in the ropes give him that? Maybe. Can we? Yes, we can. Okay, the game does pause for like half a second, so we can have a much easier time getting the hits on those. Yeah, <laughs> full display, of course. Uh, let's see. Oh, hello, uh, Cesar Silva Patino. I think. Hope I got. Thank you for the follow. And still the damn echo. It's, it's still there's still somewhere that, that... else that the the. The alerts are also coming through from. Oh, yeah, thank you for the follow. Was... Yeah, sorry, that one was faster. But yeah, welcome uh, to the stream, Caesar. And... There we go. Big bear and... down. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoyed the show. We are currently playing Prince of Persia: The 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 The, 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 the Two Thrones. I think I think it's the it's three T words in a row that is tripping me up a bit. But yeah, this is the last in the Sands of Time trilogy. Shall I continue the... my story from here if you are called to I will continue my story from here next time. And this one basically plays like a, a mixture between the Sands of Time and Worry Within. Let's see. And I right here. hope they pull it off for I rather hear people talk about the person, but usually when I hear them talk, they used to talk about the first or second, but... I never really heard anyone talk about the, se uh, the third one, which makes me always forget that as a trilogy. There we go. Uh, I, I, have, I have to admit, I have no idea what is being said there, Caesar, if I may call you that. Uh, uh, I we record this meet draft as as the Yeah, I'm unsure if that's Spanish or Italian, for I sadly did not take classes for those. Uh it could be either. <laughs> it's okay. If, if someone could run that through a quick translator, please. Uh, oh not that. Okay. Way. No the broke zombie become can see. Uh yeah. Okay, okay, bro. <laughs> yeah, so, what, what did you mean earlier, then? <laughs> Where is kind okay. Asha, who would stand before her stall selling fruits and flowers? Or the errant children, making trouble as all young ones do? Gone. All gone. Let's see. Uh, up here? <gasps> nope. Okay. That way. And get you. Are, they, are these even. I'm not sure if these are human, even. Well, they are human. They sound it's... not human. Like, I know they have masks, but. The way it, it not a moth will not make a person sound like that. Uh, you should be. We, you should get to see why that is uh, in a bit. Uh, all right. Let's see. Uh, ah. Here and there and up. Okay. Let's see. Uh, yep. Oh, Marco. Oh, come on. I say English preferably if we know English, Dutch, and Swedish. Uh, yeah, we are the. <laughs> Sorry for it, but uh, we otherwise won't be able to understand the thing you're saying, sadly. Yeah, and it, it will mean that we will have difficulty to give you any answers. Yeah. Also, that was rather bullshit on the game that young ones do. he jumped at an angle oh. instead of straight forwards. Oh, okay. 
this again. Oop. Oh, now you notice. easily enough to do. But yeah, how's your day going, Caesar? If up and up the other side, Prince. Like, he never gets named in any of the games. Which I guess adds to the mystique and the memor uh, uh, memorability. It okay, what happened even there? You missed... Pretty sure we were on, we were lined up with it, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Marco, let me test if Duolingo taught me Espanol correctly. And what's with the blue box suddenly getting selected on that? Where there. is kind what the Asha, who would stand before her stall selling fruits and, and flowers? Or the which characters did you speak about that uh, never got named? Ones do. Uh, the prince, he, he never gets named. I'm not even sure if he gets named in the freaking movie. I think he does get a na name in the movie, but yeah. Yeah, kind of weird. He never gets named in the games. Except for the very, very old ones. Hmm. I need, I'm not even sure if he gets named in the original game. I think he did, but they never named him in the trilogy. Hmm. I'll need to look that up, but to my knowledge, I'm yeah, I'm not even sure if he gets named in the movie. Probably, but at, I yeah, that I think at least in the games that he never gets named. Okay, finally a save point. Should I? Oh, sorry. Is it a bit ironic that our side weapon is a better weapon than our primary at the moment? And yet nothing is as I remember. Objects once familiar and comforting now fill me with uncertainty and dread. What has happened here? I'm pretty sure you don't need to jump off of him to get a kill on him there, <laughs> Prince. Okay, up here, then we can jump on them. Are you moving stuff or is that the game I'm hearing? Okay, that's not me, for otherwise I will see the mic move here. Okay. If I only did it, was reach my hand into a bowl of chocolate. There we go, we can also use these now. And, yeah, <laughs> another new thing here. For some reason, someone installed jump pads <laughs> On the bloody walls. Uh. Okay. There. Let's see. Anybody else here? Nope. And yeah, we'll be seeing quite a bit of that animation as we go, hopefully. Since it'll mean making our well, fights a lot easier. Uh, let's see, where to? There to. Huh. Okay, I like that they, I like that they put a lot more strategic use to the uh, landscape views. There. Yep. 
Oh, I, th I thought I pressed too early there, but no, just in time. Holy. Holy, holy, holy. And yeah, who, who needs an assassin bodyguard when you are the assassin? <laughs> okay. Oh, well, so much for getting a jump on you. I think, I, should have a, I think his father got named in the games. Um, I think so, yeah. So, but it was, was it very, uh, Yeah, I think it was very, very shortly mentioned. Yeah, like only once or so. Okay. Get on that. What I was thinking of a theory I had uh, that they didn't want to use an actual prince name for some reason, but they used the father's name I named. Be so now, recovering from my time away, or sitting with father. Instead, I'm forced to run and hide, sneaking about like a common thief, hunted in my own city. I must say I like this yeah. the stealth part of this it it makes things go a lot quicker than just uh, just finding them directly Oop, too early like this <laughs> the moment I talk about how the combat can get protracted we get into it not that these are taking that much punishment. Let's see, uh, the chill, bro. Okay, I'll, I'm taking. I'm guessing that's me, the compliment. Let's yeah, he does. He's doing a flexing arm there. Yeah. Let's see. That's a dead end. Okay, this way. Um, let's see. I'm pretty sure there isn't a. I'm pretty sure there isn't an alternate ending in this game. So there's no need for us to go looking for stuff. Oh, eh, hello. Hold up. I would say maybe double check that so you don't trick yourself. There. And okay, there we go. I, I was almost, I was almost expecting it to shot, <laughs> false shot on our fingers there. What the heck, I'm first. Can I continue my story from here if you are called away? <laughs> I will continue my story from here next time. <laughs> so it's only still the prince being a narrator this time. Yep. And now I... we run into the traps. Yep. Okay, who gave the saw blade steroids? Yeah, they, they both saw blades and a war. Ugh. Okay, they... I will appreciate that actually give me some new traps, a little bit of a makeover. Yeah. I can't sit I can't tell if they're rusty or bloody. Or both. Both. Probably both. <laughs> Likely both. There we go and yeah, it's so going to sh shove out. Or not. Okay, I, it's a, we need to pull it out ourselves. I was half, I was expecting this to be another of those crushing blocks. Yes. Uh, oh, oh, that way, okay. Up, up. Pay attention to what the prince overheard as he drew close to where I was being kept. Should I continue? Good. Yes, yes. Find place to start the tale next time. 
Let's see. Ah, we can get up here. Oh yeah, I, I like that they returned to. I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the island of time, intending to claim its secrets. What we discovered was a barren, ruined place. Its halls deserted, and its guardians gone to sand. Strange tales adorned its walls, which spoke of an empress. An empress of time. But of this enigmatic creature, there was no trace. A dagger. An empty hourglass covered in jewels. And books. Such secrets they contain. For even then, I was a of man, and knew that my time would soon be at a Damn it. <laughs> okay, at least we have a save point nearby. Yeah, uh, this is a rarity. I had to raise my volume on my headset to hear the guy in the narrator talk. The Maharaja of India to the island of time, intending to claim its secrets. Yeah, I think it actually softens if we move away. Ruined place. Its halls deserted, and its guardians gone to sand. Strange tales adorned its walls, which spoke of an empress, an empress of time. But of this enigmatic creature, there was no trace. We returned to India with treasure nonetheless. A staff, a dagger, an empty hourglass covered in jewels, and books. Such secrets they contained. For even then I was an older man, and knew that my time would soon be at an end. The books showed me that life eternal was not beyond my reach, but it required the essence of the Empress herself, the power of the sands. But you were gone. They were gone. Or so I thought. I turned my attention towards other pursuits and left that dream behind. But then, four weeks ago, the dagger stirred and showed me things, whispered to me in my sleep, it drew me here, towards Babylon. Alas, the Maharaja did not share my vision, would not grant me leave. So I slew him and claimed his kingdom, his army for my own. Nothing would stand between me and my desire. See you later, Marco. And I'm, I'm guessing this is all sounding a rather familiar. Yeah. Are you telling me he's back? Yeah, you'll see. For what? Maybe they if they talked about the uh, the Maharaja or something, but or the other guy, but so, now oh, I'm on oh, Come on. Oh. Uh. Triple fall. Or right, you fall? Do you hit a edge? Then fall again. Okay, at least we don't have to wait for him to finish his monologue this time. Many years yeah. ago, yeah. I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the However, if that monologue gets softer the further he walks away from where it started. Or it depends on how far he's from the camera. But it mean that they introduced the same problem for the first game? Yeah, but lesser this time at least. Returned to India with treasure nonetheless. A staff, a dagger, an empty hour. Okay, you both I I get it gets some immersion. Then it depends how far you are for the character with the voice and all, but the books showed me that for storytelling that's yeah. actually horrible. Yeah. The power of the sand. But you were gone. They were gone. Okay, bird bang. Yep, too early. Yep. Okay, you're pretty agile, but <laughs> dodging like that would probably work better if you actually jumped away from me and not into me. Okay, that way. 
And now we're up on this balcony. Let's see. Can we just... It, yes, we can just drop down. Pretty sure we were meant to actually go to the pillar there. But okay, this also works plenty. And hello. Now, which way? That way. Also, the camera does not like being pushed up or down whilst we're walking. Recklessly, Olivia? the prince drew his weapon and charged forward, intending to rescue me. It was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. Or perhaps he'd simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. This is how it happened. This is how I died. No! What have we here? The vizier! Ah, you must be the prince of Persia. Come home at last. Too late, I'm afraid. I believe I have something of yours. Oh, no! Kailena! Give what I have done, wherever you are. I got you have the recall ability. <laughs> Timing. <laughs> Welcome, Rom. Welcome, Rom. Welcome, hey. Rom. And yeah, I lost yeah, we... Johnny earlier. <laughs> uh, uh, and now we uh, have this blasted uh, dagger again. Well. I guess that's how things happen. Things just repeat and... Run for your life. Yep. <laughs> oh. Also, did the, vo did the prince get revoiced again? Yep. It's, <laughs> it's jury again. So, they did at least revoice him with the first voice actor they had. Yep. No. I think... <laughs> I think the reason they didn't use him Ooh. in the second game was because he was uh, busy with something else. Could be. I'm, I, if I remember correctly, uh, Sands of Time is where Lowenthal had his breakthrough, basically, where before, where basically he started to get invited to voice every other character in an otherwise voiceless shooter ever. Oh. And hey. then became. A bunch of different voices, including the Is protagonist in Persona. The tale next time? I will in Persona 3, and yes, okay, in Persona 4, and a bunch of other characters, including all the way to Peter Parker in the PlayStation 4 uh, Spider Man. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, I, I still have to play that bloody game. That one I didn't know. Let's add a twist. <laughs> 
I uh, definitely wouldn't mind playing that one with how everyone praises it up there, high heaven and such. Oh, yeah, how are you doing, Brom? I'm fine, kind of. Just very tired. Okay. Uh, I'm basically being kept up by coffee at the moment. So, you. Coffee, the cause and solution to many of life's problems. Unlike yeah. alcohol, which is the cause and solution to all of life's problems. <laughs> he ain't lying. He, he did drink about uh, five liters of coffee with his stream. No, not that much. Two minutes, your first death was accidental <laughs> suicide. No, we've, we've jumped to our death plenty of times, but only this time we can actually undo it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, uh, Rom, uh, do, do you speak Spanish or Portuguese in Peru? Spanish. He asked because we had someone uh, sp yeah, I talk Spanish sense. in the chat. Oh, well, we... I can't see them. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, uh, the message uh, have disappeared after a while. Uh, let's see, I can scroll back for it. Uh, know when you have the time to hear more. Something about, I know one thing they said, uh, the shield brew. Uh, let's That'd be see. fucking funny when you realize that in order to get the things to get canon, you have to literally do like 100% the last game. Yeah. And then, <laughs> you know, you save the girl, you uh, unfuck time, and then you start this game, and the girl gets killed, and you're back to square one. Yeah. Oh, uh, bloody egg. Okay, uh, the thing they said was Square Recuerdos. Oh, something popped. Uh, let's see. The, 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 uh, actually, I'll just I'll just copy paste it down the chat so you can actually read it instead of me trying to very poorly speak whatever that is. Uh, Recuerdos. I think he's talking about the memories he's had playing this game. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yes, Caesar. Rome here I continue my word. is probably a friend who can understand you here, actually. There's just one problem. The, uh... I would have to go into the... Uh... Into your quick screen so I can read the chat, because the chat in the uh, Discord is small. So give me yeah. a second. It it is small. It is indeed. Like, yeah. It is as big as it, I can get it at the moment. Eh? Because it, any bigger on that, um, uh, basically it starts screwing with the di screen share. Yeah, give me a second. You're, you're still looking to fight me even though the half the fucking floor is gone? Dude. Assuming any of these people have, in any way, shape, or form, um... Sur survival instincts. Yeah. Well, the first one we found after the collapse started had yeah. emphasis on had. Yeah. The memory. It's not just dedication to work. Okay. Yeah. Collected and yeah, we... ten sand credit. Yep, that's the thing we'll be finding throughout the game. Uh, hey, why is my nose itching now? Uh, we we can use Sand. those to unlock extras. Sand. Once more, the wheels Credits. of suffering are set in motion by my hand. In taking Kylina from the island of time, I have changed the course of history. Without the sands of time, because... I never journeyed to Azad, never killed the vizier. Now he lives again, driven by the same mad desire. I promised no harm would come to her. Well, you've never seemed to have been good at keeping promises, Prince. Should I continue? I will continue. At least he tries. Yeah. It's better to try than to completely ignore it. For how many people who make to the palace and further from my enemy? Right. Oh, how many and your who... and your country's on fire too. Just for the record. Oh dear. My arm. What's happening? 
What has the vizier done to me? I don't... Everything had come full circle. The prince had resurrected his greatest enemy. Worse, he had accidentally delivered me into the man's hands, unleashing a nightmare plague across Babylon. As if this was not enough, the prince had nearly been transformed by the sands himself. Though he had avoided death, he had not escaped entirely untouched. Wake up, prince. Wake up. Wake up. Where's this shirt? He just fell down into the sewers. Where the hell did this shirt go? Somewhere between here and the open sea. Or uh, his sword. The way behind you is gone, so you will have to find another exit from these sewers. Be quick about it. Start moving. What? Who is there? Shall I continue my story yeah. from uh, here? The, uh, I forgot to turn those off. <laughs> Yeah, but I was going to say it was, I met people who make, make promise, 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 without being serious about any of them. They just make promise like you think they're serious, but they're not upholding them at all. And that, those people I end up despising and completely not trusting. Mind your balance. And... I keep moving. Apparently, the medallion of time is from the girl from the first game. Oh, how did you get that? Farah, hmm. not Sarah. Yeah, Farah. I'll need to double check that. Cause I, I don't remember her giving it to him. Hmm. But yeah, that, that's going to be one damn nasty infection when she climbs out of this pit, good, huh? Good. Head down. Uh, hello. Um, I don't think these are the sewers. Lead them into the light. Strike while they are blind. Uh, okay, Persian mer people. That. Okay, this is either the sewers or some kind of aqueducts. Uh, I saw the feet of another foe up there. There we go. And now, like with Larva, we can also just perch on these as well. Yes. Is it trying to look at like Batman or something? <laughs> there we go. No need to heal. Not that I think this water would really heal if we were to drink it. Why are you walking like that when it's so shallow? Let's see. Up oh, there we go. It. Possibly because it's probably thick as sludge. Or, or it could be slippery as well. Let's see. I was not pretty sure that mm -hmm. that was shrinking. Yep, yeah, but... The heck? Okay. Lounge oh. aim! Oh, wait. Did we pull down the pipe fully and that somehow opened it? Okay. This way. Nothing behind us, nothing behind us. Okay. Always annoying when the camera just swaps harshly like that. Okay. There. Oop. Yep, no you did Okay. Oh, 
Oh, it's timed. Okay, it's a new one. Just gotta wait Wait. for it to come back. Why it's timed? Where the heck does it lead to? Oh. Yep. Okay. And there we go. What have I become? A sand monster? Call it what you will, Prince. But you have been given the ability to destroy your enemies. Now use it. Yep. <laughs> the prince gets an entirely different form now. That will pop up every now and then. What benefit is this? Even as I fight them, I grow weaker. Kill them, then. Let their lives replenish yours. This feels good, does it not? And, yeah, boop. Give me it. Okay, apparently we can't pick up a weapon like this because technically we already have a secondary weapon. In as in the chain that is stuck to our goddamn arm. And yeah, basically, this dark prince form is the sans rate, only with well, lifesteal added in. Yay. Can we finally have something to break those damn blocks of theirs? Is that still something we can't seem to do? You're dying. Kill them fast. Okay. Going into a combo of sorts there. Okay, is that enough now? I knew you had it in you. Okay. Yep. We can also use the chain to mess around with stuff. I assume this is not permanent. It is, if you want it to be. I do not. But you will. So, yeah, now we are actually... Well, now we actually have a good reason to fight enemies. At least whilst we're the Dark Prince. Nothing that way. Oop, what does? And yeah, <laughs> we basically have a grappling hook with this thing. The rom. I think you have a problem. What then? He, he's gonna want one for Christmas. <laughs> uh, without the uh, arm embedding, pl uh, please. I mean, you're not getting one from me. I know what's gonna happen. See? Again, uh, got a question. Oh. <laughs> Who designed all of this stuff? Yeah, of yeah good question. Yes, apparently. <laughs> Apparently, the Maharaja, the Sands of uh, the Isle of Time, and Babylon had the same bloody architects. Well, it, no, not same architect. Though the traps do look a bit different from the other two. Oh, come on, gotta redo it again. Also, 
Blizzard is getting raked to the coals because of, you know, the whole no Overwatch 2 PB. Why then yeah. is this happening to me? I about that earlier today, actually. actually. Affected by the sands of time, as I am sure you have noticed. Maybe it's the dagger. Maybe it's all the time you spent amongst the sands. Or <laughs> amongst the Empress. Either way, you are resisting it. Mostly. Mostly? You did just transform into something rather unique. So I think the world is quite appropriate. Think of it this way. You have been given a gift. You're stronger, faster, uglier. Now, now. That explains the transformation. But who are you? Have you not realized? I am your untapped potential, your unrealized dreams. I am part of you. You... You're inside me? Crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I do like them going over possibilities of why the hell we weren't fully sandified. Supposed to go up? Oh, uh, no, wait. Oh. So deactivate him? Now. Water seems to fight this corruption. Why did you hide this from me? What? And ruin all the fun? <laughs> yeah, like the Dahaka? Water is the cure. I have no idea what these are supposed to be or anything. But they definitely don't like the light. Respect, let's see. From Marco, I'm back. Had to go past my room because of my cat at something with my mom about thing that happened at back home? Oh, school! Lord, the heck, the heck, the tiny! Uh, let me see, can I open up the window some more, or at least the main view of it? I have I am back, had to ghost bust my room because of my cat and talk with my mom about the thing that happened at school. Ah, there we go. It's... Okay, uh, yeah, welcome back, Marco. Bigger. There we go. Uh, let's... Oh, this must be... Uh, should we even ask what happened at school then? Gremlin? Okay, I was half expecting to be caught by one of the blades there. Should yeah, I I'm gonna say whoever built this is this? not the same that built the other two places. On the other hand, who knows? Maybe with how little the architecture makes sense and how much it can kill people, maybe there was a company that would just set shop around this area in this time that just built everything. <laughs> yeah. <Taylor. laughs> I'm guessing yeah. this is just Babylonian design sense. Yeah, I think we both all be seeing the damn tower the Babylonians built here. Or that and the prince were trying. named it uh, named it completely as uh, as Babylon. Come on. Can I can I get the drop on you two? Yep. Or not? I'm waiting for you to try and shoot me. Okay, I'll just deal with you myself. There we go. <laughs> okay, just stick, stick that thing all the way through. Are you okay? When the prince was struck by the sands of time, something was woken within. Something strange and cunning. 
something dark. The seven years spent on the run had embittered the prince and made him hard. This burden sustained his other half, gave it strength. The prince was tempted to do as it said, for it was a light in the darkness, offering comfort and guidance to a man who had just lost everything. But what were its intentions? Why did it help him? Only time will tell. There, arrow shooting device on the side of a cliff. Oops. Yeah, that's going to be wasting literal tons of arrows. And let's see, Marco. Uh, well, since I uh, don't have scissors, I use a scalper or instead of. Uh, do you mean a scalpel? And when I was cutting some paper with the uh, scalpel, uh, the girls that made fun of me for no reason took me uh, cutting some paper with it as a threat, and now I got uh, scolded for no reason. Oh. Oh dear. We've gone quite a distance. Babylon, but so far away. As a child, father would tell me stories. Pay attention. Something's happening down there. Hey, I'm cutting the narration. Look down, genius. Is that? It's the vizier. He has been completely transformed. Interesting. He has used the power of the sands to transform his army. And these artifacts will allow him to transport them across the city with ease. He appears to be in complete control. And things do not look too good for you at the moment. I will not let the Vizier have Babylon. My city. My throne. He has used that beam as a gate. We will follow him through it. Is this where I should resume the tour? This is a fine oh dear place to start gods. This time. And as for Marco, next time just ask for scissors and don't use a scalpel. Yep. Kill the Sandgate guard to prevent him from uh, calling reinforcements. Once all the enemies near the Sandgate are killed, you can collect its sand of time. Okay. And. A good reason to go for stealth, then. And yeah, they need three stabs to kill off. Also, we'll take that. Thank you. Now, gimme. Let's see, a new sand tank, okay. What's happening? Well, that certainly went according to plan, did it not? You really should know by now that entering portals made of sand only leads to trouble. I will simply have to resort to a more traditional form of transport. Hopefully with greater success. They heard something. I see they keep yeah. you muted as well. Yeah, and this is why they sounded so strange before. Basically, they're matching computers to begin with. Yep. Yes. Oh. Can we get close enough to you? Nope. Uh, Do you hear NBCs? Yep, there is someone else around. Oh, okay, the there's three of them here. That's kind of new. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Oh, come on. Just the exact moment that he turns around. Or probably because we were too close or something. You landed right behind him, so he probably heard you land. So probably. What the heck is Bob doing? You're the Bob! Yeah. Bob is gone. Uh, Bob is gone to the great field of Bobs in the sky. Yeah, good God. That, that reminds me. I watched uh, someone do a review review of a game called Primal. Yeah. 
and there's a vampire uh, couple. I, I forgot what the vampire woman was called, but I do remember the vampire guy's name. And, and his was... name, his name was Rum. <laughs> okay, where where did the archer go? It's and it, yeah, thing. it caught me off guard for. Well, we have Rob next to me here, and he's not a vampire. I think. Here we go, some more sand dollars. I just realized he had he got a VK. Damn it! Let's see. Uh, and... Primal is the game's name, not Primal Raid, just Primal. Okay. And he has had a few re-releases to for PS3 and PS4. Hmm. But they never got to get the, to do a sequel. Sneaky sneaky. Uh, like that, yes. There we go. I think I remember a few games with that name. Yeah, I'm not talking about a fighting game, Primal Rage. Okay. But uh, I think the YouTuber was called Ragnar, who made a review of it. And here we go again. Just all the edge from Warrior Within is <laughs> seeping back into his soul. Like, I, I'm not sure what I think about this film at the moment, but I... I think I just wanted to make sense of it at the moment, and I... It kinda... Not too out of place? It, but well, he had, could have been corrupted before. Oh. A, a bit late with the... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's probably because of all of his exposure to the sands and such over time. Yeah, so you have grown a resistance, so he doesn't get co fully corrupted. There we go. I, oh, bloody, I can't believe I'm doing this comparison. Maybe something similar to a demon hunter from Warcraft? Could be, huh? Let's see. But I do that a, as a hesitant comparison. I just realized they put the quiver on the hip. Attention to detail, I say. But that's where you're supposed to put the, it. Like, sure, you're gonna quiver on your back when you are marching. But you yeah. prefer what I had in the hip on the hips otherwise. Wonderful. I wish you just to ask, do you just... Right. I was just, did you just okay. kick him to a wall? Nope. <laughs> it looked like he was about to fly. <laughs> I need to check up on the, the Dark Princess uh, move set. But it should mostly be similar, though it is a lot more focused on crowd control. There we go, and that's the second half of the data. So let's get out of here. That chariot should get us home. And there we go again. Just gotta wash off the ash and stink.
Okay, see you, another, see you next time, Marco, and good night. Yeah, sleep well, Marco. And make sure there's no monsters under you your sure bed. Are you can control this thing? Those are some... Edgy horses. It is the end for both of us. The prince! Stop him! Did anyone get the number of that chariot? And so once more the prince began the journey home. His mind a fire with visions of the justice he would visit upon the vizier. And yeah, this is oh. Uh, <laughs> ow. <laughs> okay, that's not fair. He was halfway through the freaking wall. Do we have even enough? Uh, nope. <laughs> Just enough to make it a blooper reel of repeats. Okay. <laughs> but seriously, he was halfway through the bloody wall. He should have been dead. Oh, good mm. God. An explosion. Uh, or, I mean, not explosion, but you get what I mean. Yeah. Are you sure you can control this thing? <laughs> Let us hope. If I crash, it is the end for both of us. The prince! Stop him! And so once more the prince began the journey home. His mind of fire with visions of the justice he would visit upon the vizier. Right. Come on. Stop resisting you. And st then stop existing. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> come on. Me too. The camera was even just slowing down to start to show him crashing in the... the uh. Uh, I just spotted something. I think you actually, you know, I think you... ended up impaled using your cell, and basically you impaled another body head first. Into a uh, wall. Third time the charm. Sure you can control this thing? Yeah, yeah, shut up, Darky. <laughs> okay, that was, that sounds completely wrong. Shut up, Dark and DP. That sounds worse. Stop him! Is it only Edge Lord? And so once more the prince began the journey. We could call him Shadow the Hedgehog. No. No better, Shadow the Edgehog. Oh, good gosh! No, you know what? I'm gonna bet. I got a better one. Sandy. Damn it. Oh, Sandman. But oh, that's the body you impaled the head right. first. No hitchhiking. Yep, ow, just run him over. Well, Prince. Though I'm sure it was not intentional. Shut up, you. Uh, this way. Uh, but was that a human pushing that? I think you might have better things to do than saving your cart of porn or whatever the hell that was. They might be put into a uh, work, I guess. Eyes on the road, dumbass. We made it. All yours. Come on. Well, he held his horse. Uh. <laughs> the once bright and vibrant streets of Babylon now stood all but deserted. Its inhabitants either dead or fled. Those left behind suffered terribly. Captured, tortured, and transformed. But the prince did not notice this. So focused was he on the vizier. There's just something inherently hilarious about wheels 
just rolling in after something crashes, huh? Yeah, do not ever you see them rolling up afterwards that a gate has closed and I feel like it took it to a new level. <laughs> like, there's, there's just so many shows of uh, idiots on the road and such. I'm impressed. Where you often see... Oh, good. Your opinion means a great deal to me. Is that how you thank the man who just saved your life? First, you did not save my life. I did. Second, you are not a man. Just a disembodied voice. A ghost. And third... I never asked for your help, and I certainly do not need it. While I admire your bravado, you would be wise to show some respect. And you would be wise to keep quiet. You are distracting me, and we are no longer alone. There's so many shows of stupid folks on the roads where they manage to lose their a single wheel somehow, or just the wheel cap. Have done nothing wrong. Save your crying for someone's fear. I should do something. Go ahead, all to your death. That will be of great <sighs> use to them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> as you suggest. Blip. Uh, as you suggest. <laughs> Okay, oh, got to pause that for a sec. Hey, come on, where's the mouse? Seriously, where's the mouse? Like, for some reason, it's being kept invisible. There we go. When it's outside of the game. There we go. Just gonna grab some water. So don't die. Okay. Um. Ah. Nope, over. Where can we climb down here? Or can we use you as a landing pad? Uh, no, we can just go over here. Okay. Probably best to keep I... the gate guards unalerted. I return, I heard landing pad. Why does it feel like every time I leave alone for a very short moment, you come up with something ridiculous? Yep, 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 come on. That was a rather short window. Where, where did he go? Did he, did he just face out? Okay, I think we just threw someone into the back rooms. I, I, I think you threw me into the black pit down there. <laughs> okay, we're not here. Yeah, you see, there, there, there's a very deep hole over there. to wait for him to come back and for him to look away there yeah there we go there we go and indeed next on the menu <laughs> menu there's a menu down there. Whatever it is, it will continue until you have defeated the vizier. You cannot help these people. Then let us make haste. <clears throat> Let's see. We've got the big boy there. We've got one who is just looking at the pretty light. Oop, multi kill, huh? I didn't actually know that this was a thing here. Holy! Hey, oh, what the back from? Yeah, I'm back. What's up? Yeah. Uh, a few just things. murder. 
you missed something I, I think that was semi-related to you earlier. Really? Yeah. I was like a YouTuber called Ragnar, your review of a game called Primal. Uh, and I do want bias. You have unlocked a hundred bucks. Oh dear. Oh yeah. I forgot what the vampire woman's name was. However, I remember the vampire guy, uh, dude's name. And his name was Rom. Yeah. <laughs> And that, that actually caught me off guard. <laughs> I watched that video. Virtually, for some reason, the subtitle to, title decided to. Whenever Rome was mentioned, all caps. Stop pursuing your okay. enemies. Start pursuing your enemies. Uh, let's see. Which way to go here? Nope. Ah, there we go. Oop. And there? Yep. Okay. Oh, the, the repair bills for this place. Oh, come on. Bad doggy. Bad doggo. Be careful. These creatures feed off the sands. Feed them before they steal any more from you. Wait. Steve? Wait, are these sand eaters? Apparently. They're to eat steel just as easily, it seems. Oop. Wait, what? It, as in the swords, they... <laughs> because we stabbed them. Oh, I was wondering, wait, that, why does he say steel? Did it didn't mean kill or what is going on? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't think I'm gonna stay. I got lunch right now and uh, my mouth is close to the mic, so no chewing noises. So, good luck on uh, Babylon and try not to die. Oh, okay. thank you. En and enjoy and a... see you later. Yeah, be safe and have a good meal. Later. Oh, look. Later. Back. I mean, the oh dog. dear. <laughs> Sandman is back. <laughs> and immediately gets to take out the, well, the wild dogs. There you go. I think we need to teach you how to actually give a dog belly rubs. I think you're doing it wrong here. Yeah, the good as the good dogs get the belly rubs, bad dogs get the belly stabs. Oh, good gods. Onward and upward, Prince. Hurry to the palace and reclaim your throne. I'm moving as fast as I can. What do you suggest? That I grow wings yes. and fly? One can always dream. There we go. <laughs> oh, god. Hello, one. Okay, no, actually, I just found something out and I decided to join him for one last time. Apparently, there's going to be a SpongeBob level for Power Sin. For Power yeah. What? Oh, oh no. Yeah. Save that one. Anyways, later. Yeah. Later. <laughs> and washing off the ash again. Ash? But because his skin is dark as ash. Charcoal. Okay, that makes sense. Babylon's defenders still live. The city is not yet. Shall I continue my story from here if you are called taken? Perhaps father is among them. Okay, at least that doesn't interrupt the dialogue. Yep. Actually, bye bye. Let's see if you can fly. Obvious answer, no. Oh dear. What is 
is this? Someone helping us. Who is there? You have done me a great service. Show yourself that I might thank you. So very strange. I wonder. No. It is silly uh, to think such things. I there was something popping up on the right. I saw what it was. It was the back game of an outer arrow. Can we? No, no ledge kills. Sadly. Hmm. It'd be interesting to see this game, this game remade, and see how much of Prince, how much of uh, Assassin's Creed they would put into it. Also, apparently, these are both too blind to notice the pair of hands on the ledge. Yep. Well, I yeah, okay, someone them is off. anxious. <laughs> Just pacing in circles. <laughs> it's a very nervous bird. Okay, we can at least get one. And you... There we go. I was actually wanting to throw him over you the edge, but that, that works as well. Fighting? No more rooftops. Indeed. Irritating little detour. But let us be on with it. Head down to street level and we will look for a way to regain the rooftops. You are an insistent inner voice, aren't you? Well, someone has to make the decisions. <laughs> Sassy bastard. Okay, also, why the hell this art, this repeat, this whatever you would call that? What? Like, why he does he, why he insists on going down the chain down, upside down? I've seen cats with greater skill. Good question, and also. I think I know the voice actor for him here, for the other one. Okay, also, was the... Uh, was the lining that far down his back before? Sure. You hear me out. I think they use both voice actors. Hmm, maybe. Yes, it, it's... It... I, again, I can be wrong, but this might be the uh, the guy from the last game. I'll have to check on IMDb or TV Tropes. Those typically keep track of the voice actors. I, again, I could be wrong, but he sounds similar like him, just bit, but just a bit more confident in the voice acting this time. Uh, hello there. And of course, uh, with a mo Does voice modifier. The tale next time? I don't and like the looks of this. This thing was once a man. He was there when Kylina died. Mm, yeah, he got an extra double dose of sands. Welcome to the first real boss fight of the series that isn't just button mashing at your enemy. He's a giant! Yep, yep, Ooh, damn it. A kiss. Yep, shut up, you. Go for the eyes, Prince. He cannot kill you if he cannot see you. Not that way. I'm pretty sure he can yeah. kill you. Ah, oh, damn it. If he can't see you, just it gets harder. Yep. Uh, 
like seriously, in the Come other on. game, they had to alter one of the, well, the shouty ones, uh, Fong to not look like the one in the cutscene, but him? Nope. Yeah, full unfortunate view. Yeah. Wrong direction. Uh, yeah, he, he, he doesn't seem to be very bright. Be away to gain ground and bring yourself to his level. Up, up. Before, before Tiny starts getting ideas. There we go. That's me. Yeah, bye bye eyeball. Okay. Yep. Come on. Nice to rewind from that, because that is a big hit. He comes out real quick with that. And he smashed that in our wake. So we have to climb up somewhere else. There looks good. You? Wait a minute. Is he the reason? Uh... Oh, good God. Did Game Workshop get inspired by this guy to make the ogres? Maybe. There we go. Two for two. He has a god plate in the... Him up his sight. Now bring him to his knees. And a big blade. This will be the, an unusual ogre weapon. Okay, what you said about him not needing to see to kill. Very much true with those swings. Uh, and again, that's what you get when you have a blade the size of a BMW. Yeah, again. Come on. He has the, a blind person. Uh, being blinded doesn't keep, prevent you from killing someone. It just makes it harder. But also makes it hard to, uh, to defend yourself. To, he is so damn big that it's hard to get through him to make him wait. I yeah, he, like he could probably place. sit on us and kill us that way. Or worse. This thing was once a man. Beans. He was there when Kylina died. And what happened to his lower jaw? No idea. Okay, we know where to go now. I will we say the animation has aged well. Yeah. Thank you for opening that up. Nope. Go for the eyes, Prince. He cannot kill you. Shut up, we're doing we're working on it. Okay. One down, one more to go, because people typically don't have more than two eyes. Typically. Unless you are uh, the navigators of Warhammer 40k. <laughs> yep, yep. There we go. Ah, okay, I thought he was going... I'm rewinding from that. That was a big-ass hit. I thought he was going to try and hit a hit where we would be running around again. Okay, he move. Has, what, what, what the heck do you expect him to do? Cook you with his pinky? There 
There we go. We did time it right this time, game. Okay. Now we've made it with two sand tanks. Now bring him to his knees. Wait, what? Did that kill us in one hit? <laughs> okay. But it kind of makes sense considering. What, what, what did you call it again? The size of what? A BMW. Yeah, a blade that big. What the heck do you London think boss. happened? Be careful. Okay, the, the timing on that attack is odd. He can no longer see you. Move in and attack him directly. I think we just have to avoid that attack completely. It makes sense for, again, realistically, a swipe from that will be instant kill. Uh, instant, uh, yeah, it's an instant kill. Attack. Luke. Okay, almost got bisected <laughs> there. Uh, bis no, 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 no. You almost got completely cleaved. And come on. Okay. Oh, oh another God. attempt. Come mm. on, And yeah, we can't like skip the cutscenes. This thing was once a man. He was there when Kylina died. <laughs> I am impressed that Ubisoft have done here, but also annoyed that they completely ignore some very helpful quality of life things like subtitles yeah. and skippable cutscenes. And again, this this game was made the year or came out the year after War We Within, so yeah, they were very much going fast with the production. Yeah. Like Assassin Creed games. Do those they have subtitles on all of them, I hope. Yeah. Like, hmm. oh yeah, they do. Okay. Stage one again. Go for the eyes, Prince. Go for the eyes, Prince. Kill you if you cannot see. I need I need to stop anticipating the button presses and just wait for it to flash. And I just noticed that its health bar is now one half bright red and the other dark red. So it has a double health bar. Uh oh. Okay. Before it smashes us there. Is he hurting himself? Likely, with how much he's just smashing everything and... Back. There we go. Yeah, what's your type? Normally you don't see a mob self-harming themselves uh, in such a minute manner. Good. You have robbed him of his sight. Now bring him to his knees. Okay, I find it a little bit bullshit that those swings are a one-hit kill. Especially with how freaking fast they come out. Yeah, gameplay-wise, yeah. But realistically, it makes sense. It's got a... Stay on him, or rather stay under him. Yep, yep, just pray he doesn't fall. Move in and attack him directly. Gotta be careful of that kick though. Come on, a little bit more. Come 
come on. There we go. And there we go. Here comes our very own sandwich. Really? You, you, you're gonna name him of a uh, food? Yes, sandwich with a T. With a okay. T? What? As in which? Oh! <laughs> Okay. Yeah, just for this horrible. It's, 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 it's a W in which. Or was it Titch? Okay, we're not expecting that to fall I'm away. pulling his legs. Yep. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's another one. Uh, okay, that, that one looks a bit more unique and. Actually, also a bit more horrifying. Uh, okay. Yeah, look how it's designed. Yeah, this is actually supposed to smash together. Uh, quick. Yeah, what? Okay, I got distracted there by the freaking mouse on the screen. There, it's gone now. Okay, let's try that again without distraction or fail this time. That's a shell is by itself. Okay. Mm. Oh, good God's brain. But yeah, I just imagine Hillian getting distracted by a butterfly. <laughs> Only to get crushed by a boulder. Would not be surprised. There. Okay. The prince fled from the arena, embarrassed by the unwanted attention, fearful that they might realize he was becoming a sand monster. But something tugged at him. The freed citizens believed he had come to rescue them. That people, his people, now lived when they should have died. This was just an accident. His thoughts had been only of reaching the Vizier and exacting revenge. Perhaps now... The heck hurt us there. Now the prince would remember he once fought for something other than his lost honor. It was okay. simply too soon to tell. So we can actually die from getting completely drained. Okay. And were we within, whilst we were the sands raids, it would just stop at a certain point, but apparently not here. Well, you're not a sand raid. That's the little difference. There. That, that just means we have to we have to rush through these parts. Or try and find sand in other places. Like uh, the decorations around the place. The prince fled from the arena, embarrassed by the unwanted attention, fearful that they might realize he was becoming a sand monster. But there we go. The freed citizens believed he had come to rescue them. That people, his people, now lived when they should have died. This was just an accident. His thoughts had been only of reaching the Vizier and exacting revenge. Perhaps now the Prince would remember he once fought for something other than his lost honor. Oh, there. 
Okay. Okay. So, okay. no. not swinging from that? Oh, oh, swing from that. Okay. Completely overlook that. Okay. Uh, we should be able to make a little bit more progress before we have to end the stream. Okay. And I'll, I'll keep an eye on the markings this time. Oh, we can take a look right now if they've expanded or not. Okay, now they're back to just the arm. Okay. Await your response. I have heard tales, wondrous tales of a beautiful and brave princess of India, one who has traveled to Babylon seeking to punish an evil vizier who has caused her great distress. See, now she's going to kill us. How in the world have you managed to survive this long? Good luck, stranger. Uh, of oh, course. No. She forgot to him again. Should I continue? Uh, so, yeah. This is a fine place uh, to start the tale next time. Nope. Like, these are the kind of annoying things about try travel, but it, it, it kind of makes sense. Yeah, he got this on. He put this on himself by just screwing with the sands in the first place. Uh, yeah, he he tried to fix it as well, and it just gotten worse. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I I wanted to go into yeah I wanted to go into to a speed kill there, but he was too far away for that. Still goes down quickly enough, and there's another sand power waiting for us there. Why are you... Come on. Okay, there we go. Music. Okay, yeah, it definitely kicked up a lot right there. She called me stranger. She remembers nothing of our past together. Because it never happened. You know, no sands of time, no Azaz. You get the vizier, but you lose the girl. It doesn't matter. We're better off without her. Or have you forgotten? Maybe a few arrows in the back will help stir your memory. We will catch up with her. Fair enough. Though I suspect hey. you and I want very different things from the girl. <laughs> well, he is right. <laughs> she did put a few arrows in her spine. What, was that a fourth wall yoke? Maybe a bit. Now, let's see. But I do suspect that was a common complaint that he actually accidentally shot you so often in the first game. Oh. Okay, I missed that he started walking. Okay, you. Yeah, I'm having a lot more luck with these than when I originally played this game. Show no. off. <laughs> Let's see. One, two, and three. There we go. And we gain the eye of the storm. Okay, this is the. Yep. This is where 
we speed up and everything else slows down. Yep. Okay. Now, how do we get out here? Hmm. Yep. Okay, show off. Yep. Freaking There we go. Okay, he actually managed to block that. Come on. We should have to make we should have the advantage in such close quarters. But yeah, uh it makes sense that Pharaoh doesn't remember a thing about the Prince. Because, well, he's twice now deleted all their interactions. Uh, okay. yeah. ah. You don't have much luck with women, is he? Is nope. I will continue my story from here next time. Nope. In this case, I do kind of feel sorry for him. Okay. Just a for bit he, too close to the edges. He clearly loved them both. Yeah, he he got a lot more chemistry <clears throat> with Farrah and all, but yeah. That's because, uh... You still have feelings for her. Admit it. Farah and I went through so much together. Though she may not remember, I can never forget. Yeah, as uh, Hilia just said, they two had better chemistry. Yeah, with Ky Kylina it was more a case of, uh, we're in this shit back, uh, in this shit boat together. So, why? <laughs> okay, he fell real fast there. Dagger of time. How did you come to possess that? Here we go again. I took it from the vizier. That traitor. He murdered my father, enslaved my people, imprisoned me, and all in the name of becoming some kind of god. I know too well what he is capable of. But I intend to find him, and punish him for what he has done to my kingdom. You are the son of Sharaman, the prince of Persia? And you are the daughter of the Maharaja. We both seek the same thing. Perhaps we should journey together. Perhaps. Provided you can keep up. I grow tired of her little tests. It is simply her way. I assure you, she will prove a valuable ally. <laughs> okay, uh, apparently both the Prince and Farah have quantum hair <laughs> that's phasing through them. The yeah, yeah. look is impressive for when it was made. But it obviously has some um, slight it, issues. Yeah, it shows its age. It's, yeah. Uh, where are we supposed to go now? Uh, from which console was this released? Um, PlayStation 2 era, I think. Up oh, there we go. This can be a little bit hard to spot. Yeah, if I'm sure it's PlayStation 2 or 3 with this one. For this one, it could yes, look sir. like it could be on either. Uh, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure the PlayStation 1 would not have been able to handle this. Wait, what? what? I meant PlayStation 2 or 3. Yeah, PlayStation 2, I'm pretty sure. So. Okay, I basically decorated the, the wall with his ass. 
There he goes. That's going to... Yes, that is going to keep you down this time. Okay, the stream timer went off, so we keep going until we can save again. There we go. Yep. <laughs> that, that's... How would, how would you even call that? That right. card wheel? I'm impressed. I suppose it is wise to work together. There is strength in numbers, after all. I'm glad you've come around. Just don't make me regret it. Now, let us find the Vizier. Uh, I'm pretty sure she missed whatever button was supposed to be there. Okay. Where's the next fountain? Dear. Not around here. So, up this way we go. Hmm. But yeah, I'd say that this game does a good job of mixing up the feel and mechanics of a uh, warrior within and sands of time. Yeah. With the defeated, the prince was slowly regaining pieces of his former self. The pressure and desperation which once drove him were gone. Grim as things seemed, there was now hope. Hope that peace could be restored to the land and to our tortured hero. But the vizier's army still hunted him. And they grew more determined by the also explaining a bit as to why he was such a different person in the previous game. And here's our found. I almost, I almost overlooked it here with how it's tucked Shall away. I my story from here if you are called away? Okay. When you have the time, I will continue. <laughs> oh dear. I, so far, I'm impressed. I thought you would be. <clears throat> Okay, I'm, I'm actually not as fatigued as I thought I'd be, but that's probably because of the coffee kicking in. <laughs> yeah, just hope you didn't drink too much to keep you from sleeping. Uh, probably not. Uh, hmm. We'll have to see. Also, we have 300... Where did the two come from with this? And, yeah, with the credits, we should be able to buy these, actually. Yep, yeah. uh, they are quite pricey as you can see have a look here yeah we can just get some artwork from the original sands of time actually okay uh, we don't have enough for that oh yeah oh i see it now this symbol for sands of time this for two thrones and this one for warrior within okay nice and yeah <laughs> I was originally thinking about using this one for the sidebars before I realized, oh right, it plays in, this is the first one that plays in the 16 uh, by 9 resolution. <laughs> yep. Okay, apparently right click is also accepted as normal click. And let's see, here we have Pharah. And here we have Warrior Within Pharah. And... Kylina, even though she barely stuck around in this one. Yes. She has done kind of dirty in this game, huh? Like, she is integral to the plot, but she's also just kind of tossed aside almost immediately. Almost, yeah. She does stick around as a narrator, at least. Yeah. Okay. But, for now... We'll have to call an end to this stream and go look for someone to raid. And I have these clips to shorten down. So let's have a look. A uh, bunch more people have come online, it seems. So to change the screen share to the browser. And let's see. Uh, Nico Silverado is online playing Honkai Star Rail. I've been playing that myself, and it is pretty nice. A lot of references and jokes in there. <laughs> uh, Pika Girl 2020 is playing uh, 
Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, actually. Okay, no tears of the tears are tip uh, again. I'm just going to say whichever comes to mind first, which is going to be tears every time. Yeah, tears of the Kingdom. Sloop Tube is playing Risk of Rain 2. Swabe 1728 is playing Deus Ex. Uh, intro is still playing Little Nightmares. And uh, let's see, Raymia is playing Tears of the Kingdom. Rem the Wolf is streaming Minecraft. And I did, yes, I did remember to mute everything. Okay. Uh, doesn't look like any mods at the moment. Then next we have Jimmy McGinger, who is still streaming Dragon's Dogma. Okay. The first time that we, uh, I saw them, uh, yeah, that first time that we raided them, they <laughs> seemed like they really didn't enjoy it that much. So kind of a surprise they're still going with that. Uh, I'm, a flanker. I'm a flanker is playing Crusader Kings 3. Smoops on the Nonsense is playing Darkest Dungeon. Halloween 4545 is playing Ixion. And that's about the access that we have at the moment. Okay. So who of you would say would you say to rate there? Hmm. Good question. Pika or Nico then? I will let you pick for this at this moment, but I'm getting sleepy myself. Okay, Pika it is then. Uh, apparently, uh, oh, they're in the stealth section. Okay. Oh, copy the name, head to our place, and slash raid paste. But before that, of course, as always, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Ram, for joining in for a bit. And uh, Marco... And anyone else who was in chat? Uh, yeah, Marco, Caesar, Silva, and Patino. And let's see. I'm not seeing any other names. Uh, it could be just that they're the same colors as the others. But yeah, any anyone else I'm not naming, thank you as well, of course. And as always, thank you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah. Uh, no need for a catch-up stream tomorrow. So Saturday we can just get started with, or we can continue with Ori, and uh, I'm I'm pulling a blank on what other game we were playing at the. T uh, let's see, Ori and uh, it it was didn't, dredged before. What didn't we have? Yeah, it was dredged thing? before. Oh yeah, I think we are supposed to start a new one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll just look back through the previous streams to see if we'd already picked one. But uh, yeah, Ori and likely something else then. I, I really get the feeling we'd already had something, but I'm just pulling a complete blank. But we'll see. I uh, think we talked about it. Yeah. I, I, actually, yeah, uh, Bastion. We were we were going to work on Super Giant games. <laughs> yes. Yes, that what, what that's what to what we were to go for. Okay, we'll see which we'll do in the afternoon and which in the evening. Uh, but yeah, for now, thank you all again for what. Let's start the raids. Uh, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then, be safe, everyone, and watch out for sad monsters. Steam Deck, there you go.